today we're going to show you how to do an EcoKing startup. It's a universal startup, doesn't matter which model, which type of boiler from EcoKing. First things first, we'll turn on power. The boiler's going to turn on. Oh, and look, it says refill. That means we do not have enough pressure on the system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add pressure via this white knob on the bottom and you will see the pressure start to climb. Once we get to 1.5 bar, it will go from refill to OK. There you go, now we're on OK. During this time when we fire it up, you will see a five minute countdown on the screen. We have to wait for five minutes. You can hear the pump running. You can hear it de-airing, just running through its cycles. Let the boiler run for those five minutes. Okay, we're almost done here. Two seconds, one second there. So the boiler's ready. As soon as the five minutes is done, I have my thermostat turned to the max. So the boiler's trying to fire. First thing we want to do at that point is what we call calibration. To start the automatic calibration, it's very simple. Use two hands and hold the two left side buttons. So top left and bottom left button. Hold them at the same time. Under 26 degrees, you're going to see the word test. If you see it now, let go. And now the boiler is going to run through its test program. The whole time, you will have this ladder and an RPM on the screen. Those RPM correspond to the revolutions per minute of the fan. And this fan is the, this ladder is just an indicator that you are in the calibration mode. Now, the most essential two things while you're doing this calibration, you must have your thermostats cranked so that the heat this boiler is gonna produce will be pushed out into the system. The second most important thing is that the cover is on the boiler. It has to be a real world, world situation. If you do not have a thermostat connected yet, simply manually open your zone valves. Also, if you have an external pump in the heating system, ensure that that pump is running. Now you will see the boiler has ignited finally. That took about one minute for it to fire. There's a flame on the middle of the screen where the one and zero zero is indicating that the boiler will go to 100% power, which will be just above 600 RPM. You'll see here very shortly, the RPM will go up. We're on our way up now. And the size of the flame gets bigger. Keep in mind, I'm doing nothing here. The boiler's doing this all by itself. While it's running, I'll give you a brief explanation of what calibration does. Calibration is running at a high set point, a medium, and a low set point. So in other words, it's creating a line where the boiler will run up and down, and it will fully modulate. So it can run at 99% power or at 2% power, somewhere on that line, and it will run up and down. So this is an essential operation. You must do this with the boiler. We have it indicating with three languages that calibration, calibrate boiler before commissioning. It's essential. So now by itself, it's dropped to 55% power. You wanna watch this temperature. That's the supply temperature going out to your heating system. So again, the most essential thing is you must have the zone valves open, your thermostat on, your external pump on. That way, the heat this boiler is producing can go into the system. So it's the RPM are slowing down to ignition speed, which is about 380 RPM. And you'll see very shortly, we'll go to zero, zero, which is low fire. Up top, it flashes OK, and now the number will drop to zero, zero. 
and you can hear the power of the boiler, the fan's not going as hard. It's extremely quiet now. The boiler, once it's done, it's, it's got its set point at low fire, which it's going to right now. The ladder and the flame, which you can see is now much smaller, will go off the screen. We should flash OK in the next few seconds here. There we go. And now you see the flame went off the screen and the ladder went off the screen. At this time, you will see test on the screen and the fan is going to run. The, the boiler is not technically fired. There is no flame, but the fan is running. This will happen for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the word test will go off the screen. So now that test has gone off the screen, the boiler is going to start up. And then from there, all you have to do is change your settings. So if you have a combi boiler, the easiest way for you to change your heating supply temperature is just press either of these buttons. So if I press that one, it comes up as 80 Celsius. If you have a baseboard or a high temp application, that is fine. But if you have an in-floor system, we want to decrease that temperature. So let's decrease it to about 50, which is 120 Fahrenheit. You see, I can push it one at a time, or I can hold the button down, and the temperature goes much faster. So now we're at 50, press OK. And that's your new heating supply temperature.